Welcome to the Paranormal Experienced Radio Show with your host, Cat Hobson. We are here to learn all we can about every type of experience within the paranormal. There will be interviews with seasoned investigators of the spiritual realm, including ufologists, cryptozoologists, psychics, mediums, authors, and creators of technology and others with credible knowledge to share. Together, we will find out what brought these investigators of the unknown into the field and learn what keeps them working so hard in it. I'm interested in learning how these individuals go about their work, and I believe you are too. This program is all about bringing those who are in the field together with our listeners who are interested in what they find. For us, the paranormal is all about working with and supporting each other. We're all here seeking answers to the questions that bother us so. Now, let's get those answers. And enjoy the show. Hello there and welcome to Paranormal Experienced Radio here on WBHM Digital Broadcasting out of Birmingham, Alabama. I am so excited to have y'all joining us right now. I have been trying to get some Skype action working and I believe we have it now. I'm excited. I am being joined by three people who I admire so much in this field. I have Lee Poy. Michelle Poy and Dustin Coffey. They are Rural Indiana Paranormal. They are also the Dead Sun Paranormal Radio Show. And I cannot tell you, when we first met, it was like we had known each other forever. These are people who are just the best of the best. They're great paranormal investigators. They are fantastic people, period. And y'all are going to love them because I'm going to tell you, They're a hoot. And so without further ado, do we have everybody here? I'm here. We're here. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Woohoo! We're all here. (laughs) (laughs) And you hang out with the mountain monsters too much, don't you? Get too rowdy now. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Oh, come on now. (laughs) Yeah. Now y'all are going to have to get closer to that microphone because y'all's volume is low. And that's okay. Yeah, I can't hear you guys. Well, you told us not to get too rowdy. Right. It's well, so rowdy's rowdy, maybe, but volumizing, just like your hair, right? Okay. How, how about how about this? Is this better? No. no. But that's okay. 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 Hey, we'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank y'all for joining me tonight. Man, we're having a good time. I'm. I'm I'm excited. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, I I just love you guys. So I think it's awesome to have you all here. And Lee and Michelle, this is your first time. Yes. Yes. Actually, yes, it, yes, it is. Yeah. Actually, it is. So. And I'm, I'm excited. I don't know about her. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dustin was here for my Halloween show from Key West a couple of years ago. Right. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. a good time. Yeah. Well, that was a good time. That was when that person on a bicycle rode by the bush and didn't come back out. Yeah. That was, <laughs> we were in the middle of conversation. She just stopped talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I completely okay. lost my train of thought. Wow. Hell, it just, yeah. heck, it just pulled out of the station without me. It was a riot. <laughs> I was. I was definitely befuddled at that moment right. because you but know I, what I happens. Went, they, they went into the bush. They were riding down the road. It was Halloween. So everybody was kind of out doing a carnival atmosphere in Key West. And we were right. coming back from our break and I was introducing Dusty and Vic, Dustin and Vicki. 
And I completely lost Vicky's name because this man on a bicycle was just rode by and just like everybody else. And then all of a sudden he didn't come out on the other side of the bush. And I was like, he must have wrecked. Well, I didn't hear anybody yelling or anything, right? He didn't wreck. He was a ghost. And I was so disconcerted. Wow. It was, uh, yeah, to say the least, yeah. We were like, cool. we were in the middle of a conversation, and she just dropped off, and I was like, uh, <laughs> I, I thought maybe I lost phone connection or something. <laughs> it it was definitely an interesting experience, right. but you know, y'all have so your you own fair out. share. You, 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 you didn't go check it out or anything. You go look. I was walk. on the air. I was on the air. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well hey, uh, technical difficulties. Yeah. Well, it was bad enough that I had already forgotten who my, you know, I didn't forget. I was just kind of like, ah, bye, bye, bye. And she was very right. gracious and so sweet. And when I explained what had happened, she was even more so and wished that she had been there. So, but right. Dustin, I know your volume is not an issue, so you're going to have to step it up, get closer. So, oh, absolutely. I have no problem getting louder. I know that. It's never an issue with me. Yeah, we're, we're having to eat these mics. Especially when we're at a convention of some sort. Yeah, oh, and, man. Uh, you know, yeah. hanging out in the parking lot or whatever late at night, you know. All right, you got to get loud. We, uh, we have a, a pretty good time, I could say. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think. I love your show. So. It's awesome, man. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's going to be even better. We're coming back mid-March. Mid-March. Yeah. Mid-March, yeah. we're coming back. Uh, Dead Zone's coming back. It's going to be a reboot, and it's going to be a lot different than it has been. How so? That's for sure. Uh, well, What's your primary, uh, anyway? Well, first of all, first of all uh, we're, it's going to be the same format, but we're going to be doing it differently. Dustin and I and Michelle are the only ones that are on this on the show now. We're, we're gearing it up a little bit more, a little more upbeat. Getting that little, a little more of that, that the good old metal in there, too. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah we're, we're definitely going to include more metal. Absolutely. Plus, you know, we're going to have, uh, Michelle's going to be doing the uh, Paranormal News. Um, we're going to have the regulars, of course, and then surprise guests. And that kind of thing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be different. I can't wait. No, yeah. I, I can't either. I, I, we, we've had such a hard oh, time. Oh, he, he uh, definitely can't. He's going nuts. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't stand it. We, we've had such a hard time since we left the uh, the studio over there to, to try to find another place to set up to do this at. It's it's been ridiculous. But right now, as it is, we're temporarily set up in my office here at the uh, at the shop. Yeah. So I mean, that's, and we make everything work. It, it, yeah, it, we'll make it work one way or the other. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, wait a minute. Is is Dustin up there with you right now at the office? No, I have no idea. I have no idea where he is. <laughs> I pulled oh. in about eight minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's here with me. I just I can't hardly hear either one of you. Yeah, he's probably going to have to sit in your lap, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> we have our own microphone, <laughs> so I mean, we're right. we sit in our own seats, I think. But yeah. I mean, you know, whatever it takes to get the show done. Right? <laughs> hey, you're can you're can you, you do that. that. You know what it's like. <laughs> but <laughs> but How about now, can you hear me now? I can hear you. I can't hear Dustin. You can hear me. You can't hear. You can't hear me. No. That's it's usually the other way around, really. Right. right. Absolutely. I know. That's Everybody's like, sense. you need to tone down and leave. Speak up, please. <laughs> right. Let's try. This. Let's see if this works. <laughs> yeah, say something. Yeah, I'm here. Well, I'm going to tell y'all yeah, something, and this is going to just blow okay. you both the way. Michelle is louder than y'all. Okay. Is it, it, well, that does blow us away. Yeah, that's, yeah, because she is so soft spoken. I know, right? I so, am. I'm so sweet, sweet quiet. and quiet. Yeah, and you know, usually what she has to say is way more important than what Lee are, oh, or yeah. I have are going to let fall out of our mouths. That's true. So <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> are you hearing him any better now? We'll get along. Uh, oh, I can. Hear you. Give her, give her uh, something. See if you can, see if she can hear you better. Cat, we love being on your show. I love having y'all on my show. It's all better. good. 
But okay. I want to talk about y'all's paranormal experiences and how the team came together and stuff like that. And I don't want people to miss a second of hearing this because okay. y'all have been together for quite some time and y'all have done a lot of work. Yeah. And even yeah, aside right. from the radio show, when you go out and do promotions, you know, y'all yeah. are out doing investigations. Y'all are promoting your team. You're helping yeah. people. And I don't want people yeah. to miss a second of that. Well, yeah, it, it, and they shouldn't. They I know, right? You know. <laughs> uh, well, where you want to start at? We, uh, Dustin and I both started out in like 2000, what was it, 2002 or six? Uh, 2002, roughly, yeah. 2002. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Uh, one of the happenings. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, basically, we were, I think at different times, we had joined um, um, Indiana Ghost Trackers. Yes. And we did that, you know, off and on for a while, and it, it got to be, it, it got to be like everything else. I mean, you're going through the motions, and it's just not going the way that we wanted it to go. So we broke off, and we started our own thing. And that went pretty well for a little while, until I, unfortunately, I came down with cancer, so kind of went on hiatus for, for about five years. And right. uh, I got feeling a little bit better, and I thought, you know, hey, we, uh, I'm, it's time. Let's start this back up again. So, I mean, then that's what we did. And we went through a couple of, a couple of partnerships that just, just didn't work out. Once again, I, I, you know, it, you, you, have, you have to have a close-knit family, I think, to do this. I and mean, not a big crowd, not, you know, not a lot of people. Right. You, you've got to be able to balance each other out. There has to be balance. If there's not, then it just doesn't work. Right. And I, I feel like the three of us balance each other out really well. Absolutely. And why is that? Explain that. What would you say? Expand on that. He said expand, expand on, on that. that. Why do you think y'all balance out expand well? Expand on that. Oh, okay. Because he, okay. Well, because Lee is the, he's the cynic. You know, he's very cynical. He, um. He has to, he has to be, he has to be proven for him to believe it. I'm not okay. saying that, that he thinks everyone's lying, but he wants to see it, hear it, feel it. And so he's, he's on the far end of the spectrum when it comes to um, the experiences that people have. And I'm, yes, I'm, I'm like kind of on the, to just to believe it, but, yeah, it, it, yeah he sorry. has, he, he has trust issues. But anyway, I, I guess, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not on the exact opposite of that um, because I don't, I don't believe just anything that everyone comes to tell me. But I give them the opportunity to, to show me, you know, okay, so you're having these really weird experiences going on. I'm not going to immediately just, because it's weird and I haven't heard of this before, I'm not going to immediately think you're lying or you're crazy but i'm uh, let me find out first so obviously i'm the i'm the one that goes in to talk to people first to check it out before we set anything up um and dustin is kind of in the middle of us he he kind of can go either way so i i feel like we just we kind of are able to help each other um see someone's side of it by talking about it and um, Dustin and I are both have had experiences where we can uh, we kind of pick up on stuff, you know, like uh, he might see something or feel that there's something going on when I might not and vice versa. And Lee's over here thinking that we're both just nuts really most of the time. <laughs> That's right. That, that happened That's quite, right. A few, quite yeah. a few times. Yeah. <laughs> so... Well, have you always known when there were things happening? Mm-mm. How did that come no. about? Um, well, I don't know about for Dustin when that started, but for me, it it started when I started doing investigations. Um, I mean, I had had experiences, but I I just always ignored them. I never, I I guess I I didn't really believe that what had happened really happened so I would just blow it off and just move on I just didn't pay attention to it but the once I started 